In my childhood, I often dreamt of wild places. Coming from Europe, the thought of wildlife in big open country completely fascinated me. It was my calling to explore America's wilderness. Together with my partner, we embarked on a journey to explore some of the most remote wild places left in North America. What you have left in North America is an incredible diversity of life which we have lost across most of Europe. This diversity is America's greatest treasure, a magic web of life. In this magic web, the Arctic is connected to the rest of the world. This becomes so clear as we watch millions of sandpipers in Prince William Sound stop on their journey back to the Arctic. Imagine, these birds fit in the palm of my hand, and yet they travel 8,000 miles to reach their nesting grounds. Arctic is a surprisingly diverse landscape teeming with life. A land of towering mountains, raging rivers and some of the most impressive wildlife migrations in North America. But things are changing in the Arctic. Across the globe, temperatures are rising because of the burning of fossil fuels. And nowhere is that more true than in the polar regions. As glaciers retreat and sea ice melts, Animals that depend on the ice, such as polar bears and ringed seals, are facing their greatest threat. And the native communities who live up there, such as the Inupiat and the Gwich'in, are seeing their traditional way of life disappearing with the Arctic ice. While the Arctic contends with the specter of global warming, it also faces another looming threat. Oil and gas development. Oil and gas companies are now targeting the Chukchi and Beaufort Seas for offshore oil drilling. Also called the Polar Bear Seas, they are extremely important habitat for marine species. An oil spill off the Arctic coast would have devastating consequences for wildlife, since there are no known methods for cleaning up a spill in icy waters. Often described as an empty, barren wasteland, I saw a landscape filled with ten thousands of caribou congregating at the edge of the Arctic Ocean, just a proposed site for future drilling. This landscape is so unique, nowhere else do you find rich prairie-like plains nestled between the mountains and the Arctic Ocean. Earth Justice is working to protect the Arctic because it is truly a unique place. We are reminded of this as we witness one of the greatest wildlife migrations still left in North America. It was a dream of a lifetime. We were in the middle of one of the largest migration events in the Arctic. Day after day, ten thousands of caribou poured down the hillsides and crossed the river. I was so moved to see the struggle of the caribou. The newborn calves have to cross the freezing river. 
With such a determination, I saw the mothers blocking the current of the river to help their little calves. Day after day, in a constant flow, caribous moved by us. I was so touched by the bonds between the mothers and the calves, yet once in a while a little calf got separated from its mother and was lost. One day, as I was walking back to camp, I found a tiny little calf trapped in the hole by the riverbank. It was completely wet and too weak to call for its mother. It just lay there, waiting. When Emil told me about it, I was not sure what to do. I usually see myself as someone who documents, not interferes with nature. I could see the mother on the other side of the willows, running frantically around, looking for its calf. I felt a strong urge to do something. I jumped down into the hole and picked up the little guy to pass it into Emil's arms. It looked at me with its big brown eyes, and I could feel its heart beating really, really fast. In my arms, it warmed up and regained strength. After I put the calf down, it called and the mother immediately came running over. They touched noses. As I watched them running away, I imagined millions of people seeing what I saw. Everybody would have wanted to save this little calf. I knew this meant nothing for the caribou as a species, but it made me realize about human compassion. It was symbolic. It was not about the calf, but about the caribou as a whole. And every other species like the polar bears, seals, grizzlies, wolves, geese and countless other birds that call the Arctic their home. There are few places left on this planet where the ancient natural cycles are still intact. I hope you will join me, Earth Justice and our partners in our efforts to protect this great treasure. A treasure that belongs not just to us, but to the future generations.